Let's look at some of the video out of Valdosta that was shot during Monday's tornado. High winds scattering debris throughout Lowndes County and now a lot of people are left picking up the pieces. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight here on Fox 31 News at 10. I'm Doug Reardon. Tracy Smith has the night off. And we'll get the story behind that video in just a minute. But first, new tonight, we now know that it was in fact a tornado that touched down in Valdosta Monday morning. The National Weather Service made that decision today after surveying the damage. Fox 31's Cody Long is back from Valdosta and joins us now live in the studio with the latest. Cody. Doug, workers spent the entire day cleaning up the mess. The survey of the damage did show that it was an EF2 tornado that touched down at Langdale Forest Products on Madison Highway. We went along the entire path length of damage here in, in Lowndes County and Valdosta, surveying the length of what we're now identifying as a tornado that touched down here yesterday morning about 11.26 a.m. Eastern Time. And the National Weather Service says that tornado lasted until 11.30, just four minutes on the ground. It traveled 0.8 miles and had a 180-yard width. We're rating this storm as an EF2 tornado. That's on a scale from 0 to 5 with maximum winds of 120 miles per hour. Additionally, we had uh, several automobiles that were lofted into the air, moved across the roadway, and that also is supportive of EF2 damage in that area. Jim Hickman with Langdale Forest Products says the storm hit them very suddenly without any warning at all. And that the damage will be extensive, but they hope to be back in some sort of a production next week. Uh, I'm not sure what level of production that will be. This was the first tornado to directly impact the city of Valdosta since 1997, so it's not common, but people should always keep in mind. You know that when a warning is issued, that's when you want to go ahead and seek shelter, get inside quickly to a sturdy area. Being aware of the weather conditions around you is the best way to make sure that you can stay safe if a storm's coming in the area again. There was a total of nine people injured in this storm. Two remain at South Georgia Medical Center tonight. We're told they are recovering after being trapped. Seven others were treated for minor injuries and released. Doug?